Hi, my dear children. Welcome back to our Max class. Hope all of you are doing well. Today, we are going to continue the chapter Letter Max. Let's start our class. In the previous class, we learned that in Letter Max, we use letters and symbols to represent values and their relations. The letters or alphabets used here are called variables. It is used to solve some problems which involve unknown numbers. Let's continue this chapter with some word problems related to addition and subtraction. Activity number 1. For getting books through post, 25 rupees has to be added to the price of the book as postage. Fill in the blanks of the table below. Here, price of books, postage, and total cost are given. We have to complete this table. How will you find out the total cost of books? The total cost is equal to price of book plus postage. In the first question, the price of book is equal to 120 and the postage is equal to 25. Then the total cost is equal to 120 plus 25 that is equal to 145. In the second question, the price of book is equal to 115 and the postage is equal to 25. Then the total cost is equal to 115 plus 25 that is equal to 140. Now we have to find the price of book. How will you find the price of book? Price of book is equal to total cost minus postage. Here. The total cost is equal to 125 and the postage is equal to 25. Now, for finding the price of book, we have to subtract postage from total cost. That is 125 minus 25 that is equal to 100. Next question, total cost is equal to 110 and the postage is equal to 25. Then the price of book is equal to 110 minus 25 that is equal to 85. Next question, in what always we can say the relation between the price of book and the total cost? Write this using letters. Look at this table. Here the postage remains the same. That means its value is constant. We are using variables or letters for those items where the values are changing. Let us write the relation. Let the price of the book be B and the total cost be C. Then the price of book plus postage is equal to total cost. Then we can write the relation as B plus 25 is equal to C. Next, total cost minus postage is equal to price of book. Then we can write the relation as C minus 25 is equal to B. Next another relation. Total cost minus price of book is equal to postage. That is C minus B is equal to 25. Is it clear for you? Next question. What if the postage is 30 rupees and what if it is 35 rupees? We can write the relation as if the postage is 30 rupees, B plus 30 is equal to C. Then C minus 30 equal B and C minus B is equal to 30. If the postage is 35 rupees, we can write the relation as B plus 35 is equal to C. C minus 35 is equal to B and C minus B is equal to 35. Is it clear for you? Now, if the postage also changes according to the price of the book, in what always can we say this relation? Write them using letters. We can write the relation as let the total cost be C, price of book be B and the postage be K. It is given in the question that the postage also changes according to the price of the book. Then, Postage is denoted by the letter K. 
then we can write the relation as b plus k is equal to c, c minus k is equal to b and c minus b is equal to k. Is it clear for you? Activity number 2. There are 18 girls and 22 boys in a class. What is the total number of children in that class? What are the different ways of stating the relation between these numbers? Write this using letters. Here, the number of girls is given as 18 and the number of boys is given as 22. Then the total number of children is equal to 18 plus 22 that is equal to 40. Now, we have to find the relation between the total number of children, number of girls and the number of boys. Total number of children is equal to number of girls plus number of boys. Number of girls is equal to total number of children minus number of boys. Number of boys is equal to total number of children minus number of girls. We can write the relation as let the total number of children be t, number of girls be g and the number of boys be b. The relations are t is equal to g plus b. g is equal to t minus b and b is equal to t minus g. Is it clear for you? Next, activity number 3. The sides of a triangle are 4 cm, 6 cm and 8 cm. What is its perimeter? Denoting the length of the sides as A, B, C and the perimeter as P, how do we write the relation between them? Here is a triangle and the length of all its sides are given as 8 cm, 6 cm and 4 cm. We have to find the perimeter of this triangle. Perimeter is equal to total length of all the sides. That is equal to 4 cm plus 6 cm plus 8 cm. That is equal to 18 cm. Now, we can write the relation as let the length of the sides be A, B, C and the perimeter be P. P is equal to A plus B plus C. Is it clear for you? That's all for today children. We shall continue our class on the next day. Okay. Thank you.